welcome to the self-learning series for Control M Workload Manager Automation Products. My name is Mark Dobinson and I'm the Lead Technical Support Analyst for the InControl Mainframe Products. This is one of a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with the family of products. The title of today's video is Express Install. In con installing Control M for ZOS, Control M Restart and Control M JCL Verify. In this video, we'll be looking at how to install Control M for ZOS, Control M Restart, and Control M JCL Verify using a new Express installation facility which is provided in release 700 and above. This video will show you how to install Control M for ZOS. Control M Restart and Control M JCL Verify using the new Express installation process which is available from release 700 onwards. The Express installation process is recommended when you want to complete an installation in the quickest and simplest manner. The screen that you see in front of you is the first screen that is shown once you have invoked ICE for the first time. So from here we will select the installation option the next couple of screens are concerning the license agreement and you need to confirm it before you proceed. The next screen is where you enter your environmental details for the installation you're about to perform. Note on this one, the only change I've really made is to change the storage group parameter for where the files will be allocated. Hit the enter screen to validate what's on the screen and PF3 to save. From the next screen, select the express installation option. And from the next screen, the interactive installation option. The next screen is where you select which products you're going to install and how large you wish the database files to be. So for this installation we'll be selecting Control M for the small database, Control M JCL Verify and Control M Restart. Hit the enter button to validate what's on the screen and PF11 to scroll to the next screen. The next screen shows you a number of defaults that will be taken during the installation. You can actually change these, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I shall be going ahead with the defaults as they are. You can PF11 to scroll down the screen, or once you hit the bottom, PF11 to see the next screen. The next screen you see is concerning job card information and also dataset naming conventions. Again, you can scroll down using PF screen and change any parameters that you wish to change. Again, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just be taking the defaults. Once you get to the bottom of the screen again, hit PF11 to uh, scroll to the next screen. This is the Allocation Attributes Entry screen, and this allows you to specify dataset attributes for where you wish your files to be placed. Again, for the purpose of this installation, I'm letting SMS allocate all the files. Once again, PF8 down the screen. And once you're happy with all the parameters, hit PF11 again to scroll to the next screen. At this stage, all the parameter input is now complete, and from here onwards, the installation process is completely automated. So I select Y on this screen, hit the enter button, and from here onwards, there's no more input to put onto the screen. As you can see, all the parameters are verified first, and there's a small test that's performed to make sure that the installation process can submit jobs in the correct format, and afterwards, 
make sure that the jobs have completed OK before they enter the next step. Uh, but now start with the installation of IOA. For this demonstration, this install should take about five minutes uh, with three products and a small database, but obviously it depends on how large you select your database to be as to how long it will take to format the files. All the messages that you see on the screen will be written to a log file in the background as well. So for if any reason you have any problems with this and you miss some of the messages on the screen, you can refer back to the log file afterwards to see what, what, uh, what occurred during the install. Now the install process is not restartable, so if there are any errors during this process, the quickest way to get around things is to delete the complete install and start again. As you can see with the amount of small parameter input that you put in, this can be a fairly quick process. You can now see that the installation of IOA is complete and the installation is now going on to con install Control M. You can now see the Control M installation has completed and it's begin to start the Control M JCL verify installation. This is a fairly short installation as there are not, not too much to it. And you can now see that it's completed and it's going on to install Control M restart. And again that's a fairly quick install. And the screen you see it now see tells you whether the installation is completed successfully or not. As you see it says installation ended with success and you can hit PF11 to pull many additional actions but at this stage the bulk of the install is actually complete. When you hit PF11 there are a few reminders of some extra activities you, might, you need to do at the end of the installation such as APF authorization, editing passwords, etc. PF8 down to the end for that and at this stage 
you can now go to the customization options to then make any further changes to your install. Again, once this is completed, PF3 to complete. And the Express installation is now complete. This is the end of the video. Thank you.